You know, I'm here in, uh, um, in Mount Laurel, New Jersey with Richard Rothstein at Rothstein & Company. And when I think of Richard, I think of two areas. Um, antique Northwest Persian carpets, serapes, uh, just, uh, you know, I come to expect that from, of course, um, antique Kosh, um, excuse me, antique Caucasian and Caucasian reproductions. But he's got more in the store than that. This one rather intrigued me. This is a Peking mat. Um, you know, over the years I've heard these described as an opium smoking mat. This was a little mat that somebody would sit on um, often when they, were, when they were relaxing. Much as in the United States we might sit back over uh, cocktails. There was a, a custom in China at one point where it's not unusual for somebody to sit back over a pipe and enjoy things. This might be a mat that they'd enjoy. Um, now, as Richard pointed out, they usually end up in bathrooms when they're sold in the United States. Uh, still, it's, 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 it, it's just a really cool little mat. Um, the market is starting to appreciate Chinese rugs before. Ten years ago, uh, there was virtually no market for these. Now they're starting to become a lot more popular.